So, before the break, we were talking about giving advice and a couple of different grammatical structures. But so far, we have been using what kind of sentences? What kind of sentence is this? Declarative. Yes, declaratives. Declaratives. Let's say it again together. Declarative. Declarative. What are some examples that we are using when we are talking about advising? All right, excellent. We were giving advice. Ladies, what were we giving advice for? Who are we giving advice to? Handsome. To a handsome man, uh, we hope. Because what does he want to do? He is trying to make a date, yes. All right. And so far, we have been using declaratives. When we are saying, you could, you could, and you should. And you should. What were some examples of what you could do? See, Mr. Ethan was giving advice to his friend. He said, you could, you could what? You could ask her information. What else could you do? <laughs> you could drop something, yes. <laughs> and you could ask her her help. All right. What else could you do? You could pay the bill. All right. Ladies, is that OK? He could pay the bill. All right. And what is most important? What does he need to do? To make a date. Oh, he. Oh, yeah, that. Uh huh. Say so keeping calm and keep in touch. Yes. So how? It, so you could ask her what? Phone number or WeChat. All right. Let's use that in a full sentence and say everyone together for WeChat. You could. You could send. <coughs> you could. Mm -hmm. ask you could her ask for WeChat. Okay, you could ask her for WeChat. Everyone together. You could ask her for WeChat. You, you, could, you could ask, ask her, her for WeChat. 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 All right. What else could you ask her for? Phone number. Phone number. Let's do that together. So you could ask. You could ask her, her for her phone number. You could ask her her phone number. All right, WeChat phone number. Best ideas, say best ideas for contact. Let's say we have gotten the WeChat, or we have gotten the phone number, we have made contact, and now it is date time. So we ask the ladies, what should he do for the date? What should he do? <laughs> she should eat him? No. <laughs> One more time, what did you say? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, she should meet him. And what do we say? You should, uh, what about? Uh, buy flowers. Okay, we should buy flowers. Mm -hmm. We should Keep be on time. Be on time. Keep the time. Mm -hmm. What else should you do? Be gentle. Be should be a gentleman. Yeah. All right. Uh, you should be a gentleman. Pencil. I'm sorry, say that again. Pencil. Can you say that in a full <laughs> sentence? Say. <laughs> you should be handsome. Ladies, let's hear that all together. One, two, three. You should. One more time. One, two, three. You should be handsome. I heard some ladies in the back. Let me hear it. One, two, three. You should be handsome. All right. Very important. So far, we have been using only what kind of sentences again? Declarative. Declaratives. 
Now we are going to introduce another type of sentence. We are looking at what type? Imperative. Imperative. Imperatives. When we are using imperatives, these are not things that you could or should do. These are things you must. You must. You must or you have to. Have to. Or you have to do. Who do we use the clarative sentences in giving advice to? Uh, people, people equal to me. Uh, friends. Friends. Okay. Relationship. And relationship. All right. And maybe um. Yeah. Children. 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 Little brother. Mm -hmm. Little sister. Excellent. What about imperatives? Who uses imperatives? Those. Parents. Parents. Both. Uh, teachers. Teachers. <laughs> boss. 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 Yes, the boss. Absolutely the boss. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the boss. Using imperatives, making the boss happy, and doing things that you have to and must do. What are some things that you must do for my course? <laughs> you must attend, yes. What else must you do with speaking? You must You must speak English. <laughs> do you, must you speak perfect English? No. Keep, keep, keep trying, trying. Yeah. yes, that is the attitude. We want to have a positive attitude, absolutely. Yeah. All right, if we're going to look here, say giving advice to who? To seniors. Seniors? Here's subordinated. Subordinates. Subordinates. All together, say subordinates. Subordinates. Subordinates are? Uh, young, young, younger, younger, maybe, yes, like brothers or sisters. Uh -huh. What about workplace? Workplace. Peers. Who are example of our peers? Peers. Colleagues. 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 All right. And of course, who are our seniors? Higher than you. Hmm. Higher than you, like your parents, like your parents, parents. or maybe. Boss. Or your boss. I was searching for boss again. Yes, absolutely. All right. Let's look at some some more examples. How about this? You return. Oh, I'm sorry. Say, Peter, can you read this for us? You return from lunch and realize that you have lost your mobile phone, wallet, wallet, and wallet. Who has this combination? Who has their phone? and some cards together. Uh, Say so some of us have a mobile wallet. What could you do? What should you do? What must you do? What could we do? What is one thing you could do? Could research. You could search for it. All right. Before you search, though, what else could we do? What could you do? Ask someone. You could ask someone. You could ask someone nearby. Yeah. You could ask your friends. If they what else is most important? What should you do first? What could you do first? Search the search pockets, your pockets, pockets and bags. Yeah, we can search your pockets and bags. Mm -hmm. But no success. You can back to the place where you lose the phone wallet. Excellent. Let's try with that. Say, let's try it just like that. You should walk back along the path you came. Let's do this one together, all right? On three. One, two, three. You, you should, should walk back along the path you came. Excellent. And what else should you do? Check the place. Let's do it together. One, two, three. 
You should check the place you have been today. All right. What else should you do? Is there anything else you should do? Ask the waiter. Ask the waiter. Aha! You should ask a waiter. You have come back from lunch. Yes. Maybe you should return to the restaurant. You should ask the waiter. All right. Is there anything else you should do? About it is your phone that you have lost, right? You should call your phone, right? One more time together. You should call your phone. You should call your phone. Absolutely. All right. Still no success. Now we are in a little bit of trouble. We cannot find our phone. We cannot find our wallet. Now it has become imperative. Yeah. Because what can happen? You, you lost your money because your car, your credit card. You lost your money, you lost your credit cards. What must you do now? Must uh, uh, go to the, uh, yeah, the bank. Freeze, freeze it. Maybe you'll have to go to the bank. And yes. Uh, freeze the account. Very good, yes. Maybe you must freeze your account. Yes. And what else? You want to have help to find it, right? It is your card. What else must you do? Buy a new card. Yeah, a new card. You must get a new card. What else? Together, one, two, three. You must apply for a new ID. You will have to get a new ID. You will have to get a new citizen ID. What other ID do you need? Uh, driver license. Your driver's license ID. What else? Medical card. How about to come to the class? You must get your student ID. All right, excellent. All right. How about this example? What is our example here? Say, Miss Chan. The, the electricity went out, went out. What do I do? Mm -hmm. I could. What could we do? In this situation, are you talking to your boss? No. Uh, are you talking to no. your peers or colleagues? Peer. Maybe peers, peers all right, teacher, no. or possibly your subordinates. What is some advice you could do? We, we could we wait, could wait a few minutes to, to see if, if the power, power come back on, or, or we could go right. outside and work. Or we could go out and work, right? All right. We could also, what is this? We could, we could, go take, we could take our lunch break. We could take our lunch e breaks early. 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 And perhaps if we come back, the power will be on. Uh -huh. All right. And most important, what else do we need to do to get the power back? We could call the electricity companies. Excellent. Yes, we could call the electricity company. All right. Now, I am the boss. What am I going to tell you to do? Am I going to say, Go take your lunch break early. Go have some fun. Take the, take the day off. No more class. Such a nice guy. Am I going to say that? No. No. What am I going to say? Finish the work before the lunch. All right. I'm going to say we should keep working. We should keep working. Together. One, two, three. We, we should, should keep, keep working. working. Good idea. <laughs> what else? Say, if we cannot work here at the office, then we should all we should should work, work from home. home. Together, one more time. We should, we should, we should all, all should should work, work from home. home. All right. That is what the boss says. And what must I do? What must I do? I must tell the power company 
to turn on the power. I really must get that done. Most important, right? Am I going to let you work at home every day? No. no. Am I going to let you study at your home every day? No. no. You must study at the library. That is what we will do. We will go to the library and we will continue our work there. All right. We are looking at a couple of other cultural differences before. What do we see here? Casual. Ah, casual time. Which one is most casual, on the left or on the right? Left. Uh huh. Say, and what is what scenario would this be on the right? In order. In order. Which one of these will we use for work? Uh, right. Maybe for our meeting, we will be on the right side, and then I will divide you up into smaller groups for working. All right, very good. <coughs> what about here? We have seen before. This time I'm looking at the people that are, could say we could. The people who say we could are what color? Let's say our black people here say these are the smallest people, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say we could, we could. How about him? We should. Maybe he is the team leader, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime we work together in a team, we will have one or two leaders. And maybe he will give the advice we should. What about this guy? We must. We must. We must. We must. We must. Yeah. We, must. we must. We have to, right? Uh -huh. All right. What I'd like us to work on now is advice for arranging a business meeting. All right? And in this, we are going to be advising our seniors, our peers, and subordinates. That is you. <laughs> handsome. You must be handsome to be the team leader. All right. I want us to keep in mind some of our cultural differences because, remember, we are making this meeting with our Western clients. So we want to keep in mind some of our cultural differences, like how we discuss our business. What was this? How we avoid, avoid difficult situations. Maybe with the Western style, we are going to be addressing it head on. And? Yeah, and timing. So we will arrange the timing as well. All right. So I have some opening suggestions that we can work with. Let's practice these together, starting with here. Together. One, two, three. You, you could ask them for. Uh -huh. What could you ask them for? What could you ask them for? You could ask them for the business card. Let's do that together. One more time. One, two, three. You could ask them for a business card. All right. What about for contact? You would contact them how? Via computer. All right, you just say, contact computer. What will be written on the business card? Uh, phone number and email address. Well, uh, probably to do this, maybe you want to start with email address, right? Email address. So let's do that. Say, contact their email. Together, one, two, three. You could contact, contact their email. email. All right, you could contact their email. And... Maybe you also, we can also say email for this. One, two, three. You could, you could write them an email. email. All right, you could write them an email. Say, should. What are we going to give maybe as a gift? Or 
if they come to visit us, will we take them out somewhere? Yeah. What should you do if you have a Western company come here to China? Um, what do you want to show them here in Beijing? The specialty of Beijing. Food. Food? No. So dinner? Okay. Let's Don't say dinner. Beijing duck. <laughs> Beijing duck. Beijing. Let's say Beijing duck. One, two, three. You, you should buy them Beijing duck. Very good idea. So delicious. And where do you want to show them? What do you want to show them? Where do you want to bring them? Uh, okay. Ooh. We better get our good shoes on. All right. Excellent. That is a very good idea. Let's do that together. One, two, three. You should bring them to the great world. All right. Then, what about what we must do? We must. Well, we're going to have a meeting, right? Let's do that. One, two, three. You, you must go, go to, to the meeting. One more time. You, you must go, go to, to the meeting. meeting. And one more. Say, must promise. We're going to make a deal, right? Contract. Contract. All right. You must promise a contract. Last one together. You, you must, must promise a contract. Excellent. All right. We're going to work together in our groups on this. Say so thank you, Mr. Alexander. So we'll have some handouts.